Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're all having a great week so far. Yeah, another another recreating my Star Wars room video here um, this week. Uh, so yeah, it's been a good week. I've just been re spending today recording a little bit of content for the week. Um, some new figure reviews and stuff up. Still got a couple other videos I want to I want to film. Um, might do them tomorrow night. Might do one tonight. We'll see how we go for time. Um, but yeah, just wanted to sort of share what I've been doing this last week. Um, it's starting to get into like the nitty gritty of organizing and um, yeah, just getting into these collection bins with all the figures in it. Um, and yeah, I did a little bit of a Instagram uh, YouTube short the other day. Uh, I did get a come on, some comment from someone saying, oh, you know, is that how you store your figures? Yuck. And um, you know what? It is. It's not good. I, I'm not, not happy with the way they've been stored. Um, but it was after a separation, it was a quick option to get them packed up and moved. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully I don't have to do it again. Um, in the past, I have kept them individually bagged and, and done all that sort of stuff. So hopefully I don't have to do them this way again. Um, but yeah, just sort of show you around the room and see what I've been up to this last week. So yeah, just sort of picking through a few of these bins. So all these tubs and containers. See, these, these are all figures that I've sort of picked up during the period of time. I have been on YouTube. Most of them are all, you know, there might be two figures in a bag, some of them. Um, but yeah, they've all been packed up nice and neatly. And it wasn't like I just sort of threw them all in the bit in the tubs here. Um, but yeah, it hasn't been, it's not ideal. Um, and I'm already pulling figures out and some of them, because they've been through a couple of seasons in storage, uh, there's some of the weapons are slightly bent, so they're going to need a nice dunk in some hot water just to get some shape back. Um, so it's going to be a job. <laughs> I always knew that. I always knew that. It's fine. Um, you know, hot Australian summers, we tend to get a little bit of that happening anyway, for the most part, just having them in a quite a, quite a warm room. And I know a lot of other hot parts of the world would feel the same. There's similar issues, you know, especially like General Grievous figures that tend to um, get a little bit soft at the legs. But yeah, I was able to set up my skiffs and finally and complete the barge. Get that all set up again. So that was fun. Actually posing up these figures on the skiffs once more. And over here. I do still have my lighting set up on the barge as well, which is nice. So yeah, this will end up on a shelf once I get those, that shelving up on the on the walls over this side. So basically, probably from where the curtain is hanging all the way across the shelving and then all the way across here. And I'm just going to have a temporary desk, I think, for, for recording reviews. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet. I kind of feel like that's a nice space for... It's a nice spot to have some do some filming and stuff for my review. So I might just go up to there with the shelving. Um, I've pretty much priced it up to go up to here. So I'll, I can always impede on that space later if need be. So um, I'm organizing another bookshelf to go in that gap there. I think most people said, yeah, just pretend the doorway's not there. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Just put a nice big, nice big bookshelf like one of these um, billies right in front of it. Um, and I might even just get that entire unit and just cover that door so it's in the corner right there. Oh, I like it. I do like that in the middle there. But um, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just just think because the bookshelves are quite t they're a bit taller than that unit and it might cover the top of the door frame um, That's probably where my head's at for that. So that's probably what I'll end up doing um, But Yeah, otherwise I've sort of be able to come down here I know it's dark in here. I need to find like a better light globe Because it is dark, but yeah, I've managed to set up all my DC McFarlane's down here and those five bottom cubes they will move into the bookshelf that goes here in front of the door that's I'll, 
I always wanted just to have like a DC sort of tower because <laughs> um, I do love those figures and maybe the bottom shelf my Witcher and Lord of the Rings figures will go down there maybe they might stay here not sure yet this is all just a work in progress um, there's my Indiana Jones Salah has fallen over still need to get some of those second wave they're all out I can find them easily um, but yeah here's my Boba Fett set up so I did have a bit of a Boba Fett shrine in the old in the old house um, but for me there's a perfect spot for a uh, for a helmet in the middle there so you might have to look into a one of the Black Series helmets uh, moving across I've got a couple a couple of shelves down here, uh, just some TIE Fighters, a couple of loose Black Series figures. Hopefully they're showing up alright on camera here. And yeah, just sort of some Lego sets I've pulled out. Um, some of the Mandalorian, I forgot, I completely forgot I had that. The Armour of Forge, the Mandalorians, the Throne some of these Hot Wheels cars yeah just starting to find some of those bits and pieces a couple of figures there have fallen over that's okay that's to be expected here is a tub of diorama stuff that's a lot of the Cloud City that's some of it um, that the other parts the, the, the walkways and the framework in another box Navarro Cantina the Geonosis um, there's quite a lot of stuff in here I need to do a quick sort through again. Just lots of bits and pieces. I've got some of these, like at least I think it's this tub. Um, kind of want to keep, kind of want to keep that. <laughs> That's too cool. Yeah, no, it wasn't this tub. There's another tub here. And this one here, I think, where I've sort of pulled out quite a few things that I've decided not to keep. Um, that's not one of them, but you know, a lot of the sort of micro ships, the, the sort of Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels ships from a few years ago. I've kept a few, but a lot of them I'm going to try and sell. I know I won't get much for them. You know, a lot of these sort of, um, you know, the blind box bobble heads. Quite a lot of those. They're all in there as well. Some of the 12-inch sort of shampoo bottle figures. I'd, yeah, I don't think I need to keep them anymore, so I'm just going to sort of part with a few things. Um, yeah, there's just some random stuff in there. Box trading cards. So, um, a few things to sort through there, but um, yeah, this sort of turned into my to my move on bin. There's a few bits and pieces in there I'd like to get rid of. If anyone's in Australia and is interested in anything, let me know. Um, I'll just try and work out a, a good deal before I go and list it on Marketplace. Yeah, so this is all sort of just random display stuff that I like, want to keep, hold on to. Some SH Figure Arts figures. Yeah, so it's all a work in progress at the moment. Black Series, this is just the uh, fourth sister Inquisitor I've just reviewed. And um, yeah, box of comics down there that I want to do a video on just because I haven't had a good chance to look through them in quite a while. So I thought I'd do that on camera. But yeah, it's, it's coming together again, guys. Um, yeah, what have I got here? Box of Marvel Legends. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I did sell off quite a lot, but that box is still full. Um, so I'm going to have to just really just be brutal, I think, and have to, and just part with a lot of it. Um, I think I have to, I think it's time I do. Yeah. Some specific characters I'll stick with, but, um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to have to go be, be brutal with my Marvel stuff and, um, move some stuff on. I think it's time <laughs> I did do a very good cull a few months ago, um, and moved quite a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to, like I said, go a little bit harder, make a little bit of cash back off them. Put together my Rebels, Black Series figures. 
so that's kind of what my aim is for the next sort of couple of weeks is sort of pick through these tubs um, make sure all figures are in their sort of movie groups whether I keep it all sequels prequels uh, Clone Wars Rebels all that kind of thing particularly with the black series they're a little bit easier to to pick through and sort out um, and while I've got a bit of space um, means I can really just sort of clean up get all the do apologize for the gap there guys uh, my battery died sort of just as I was explaining about going through the figures and stuff like that so um yeah it's it's sort of it's it's a strange thing sort of just picking through this stuff and you know just trying to locate vehicles like I got the A-wing got the tank uh, some speeders Rancor and just sort of getting those out the way and I can sort of see what's where um I'd really <laughs> I really wish I had the time to be able to organize this a little bit better when I packed but it is what it is there's no going back to fix all that so yeah um that's pretty much all I've got to talk about this week I am getting another I think I spoke about the bookshelf already um so yeah it's it's just a matter of time of what's what's going to happen in the next few weeks hopefully um but I'm going to just chip away at doing bits and pieces, getting some stuff out to the display. Um, you know, all just little bits and pieces like like here. I've got the, the Krikna spider, which is awesome. Um, yeah, the little model kit. A couple of the ships that I like, like Vader's TIE Fighter, Kylo Ren's, the Ghost and Phantom. Just little things like that. My old Darker signature card, which is just awesome. My original R2 from when I was a kid and the Bendham's Obi-Wan. Um, I have spoken about why that has some meaning to me in the past. So that's why that's on display. But yeah. Well, it comes back into focus. I'll, um, I'll wrap up on that one this week. So I hope you've enjoyed hanging out in the room again. Um, hopefully the camera's focused on me okay and you can get what's going on. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. It'd be great, great to hear from you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next... Well, I've got video, plenty of video content coming out this week. So um, yeah, if you're enjoying what you're seeing here and coming along for the journey as we build up my Star Wars room again and um, yeah please subscribe give the video a thumbs up check out my membership I've got to update that video very very soon um, just got to come up with a little bit of a plan for that um, but yeah definitely your support goes a long way uh, if you're a member already again thank you so much I do it means means a lot to me um, that people just you know want to support what I do and have fun while I'm doing it so yeah, thanks guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you always.